Hi, this is Risa from Risa's Embroidery Chess. Welcome to my book review series. I will be reviewing a book titled Mindful Embroidery by Charles Henry and Eileen Petronella. I try to seek out, buy and review books that offer a unique perspective of embroidery, both modern and traditional. Books that you may not easily come across in your local bookstores or online. I find online book reviews to be extremely helpful, especially for crafting and embroidery work, since I like to know what's in the book, what's covered, whether they're projects that may be of interest to me before I spend money on it. Now through this book, Charles and Ellen have done a superb job of introducing embroidery enthusiasts to a new form of modern architectural embroidery, something that I happened to stumble upon during COVID lockdown while enrolling in one of their online classes. More on that later. The book starts with an introductory chapter and a chapter on tips and stitch techniques where you get instructions on the predominant stitches used in their embroidery projects. The book is divided into chapter or projects that represent French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish and Scandinavian buildings and streetscapes, which I must admit is very appealing to me having graduated as an urban planner myself. It's refreshing to see embroidery go beyond just representations of flowers, animals and portraits of people. It's a really cool take on uh, capturing streetscapes that we pass on a daily basis but don't pay much attention to. Uh, having seen these designs, I feel inspired to take pictures of streetscapes in my own town and see if I can represent them in embroidery. Look at the simple yet beautiful design of a cafe in Paris. You and I probably would have just walked by this cafe and not paid much attention to it but Charles and Ellen have been able to capture it and represent it in beautiful embroidery. Now this book has different skill levels. This one for example I would think is for a beginner and they also include pretty complicated and advanced designs like this one of a streetscape in Venice which uses black and white embroidery and a splash of color which I find extremely beautiful for embroidery and you know, I'm not going to be going through all of the projects that are covered in this book, but I do want to go over a few points. Now, all of their projects have a pattern and step-by-step -step guide on how to progress in embroidering these designs um, and really nice images and close-ups of the embroidery piece itself. So moving on, they also have designs, for example, here of streetscapes in Portugal, in Lisbon, this one, for example, a project of a streetscape in Lisbon. And let's see, we have Barcelona, beautiful, beautiful design of a streetscape in Barcelona. And among other things, they have some really nice buildings covered in their book of Scandinavian cities like in Copenhagen. For example, look at this. Um, I love the composition of the design. I like the brickwork that's been represented. I like the focus of the red bicycle. So the designs are absolutely gorgeous. Very simple, minimalist, but extremely engaging and beautiful to have up on your walls. Look here, there's an example of a double decker, a typical double decker in London. So a little bit of everything for everyone. Here's a lovely picture of the two authors. As I mentioned earlier, I came across Charles and Eileen through their online academy, which I had enrolled in during the COVID lockdown last year. I had bought a couple of patterns online like this one which you can also find on their website. They have several lovely patterns that you can see scrolling up on the right of this video. They also have an active YouTube channel with stitch along videos of some of their designs. Here um, is the pattern that I've already traced using a heat erasable pen and I'm super excited to get started on this particular embroidery piece. 
Here's a sneak peek of their YouTube channel, which I have included in my playlist. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.